There's a lot of talent here. South Africans are very hip people. They know yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, more than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. they, 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 you know, they're not primitives. I mean, no. Just, yeah. Brother, they brother, 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 yeah. when you talk about opportunity here, I mean, I understand you at the university. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. But are you dependent upon that as your sole source of income? I mean, for example, are you also... Uh, enterprising in any other way as far as how to take advantage of you know your skill set in you know this new South Africa? Only as a musician. I see. Only as a musician. Mm -hmm. It's what I chose to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what I chose to do. And I, you know, I travel uh, as a musician mm -hmm. and and as a scholar as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm here uh, as a, I guess mostly as a mentor mm -hmm. to young people. You know. They, they, they're not used to seeing someone that looks like me mm -hmm. in that position, right. see, because you know, we're talking about apartheid. You, you still, the professorial class is still largely white. Mm -hmm. And um, th there's a lot of presuppositions that get smuggled in, mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, pedagogy, in mm -hmm. terms of the actual application you know, of education. And then there's the glaring fact that nobody wants to talk about is that these students, so I'm teaching at a university that was mostly white, mm -hmm. it was previously white, and now it's mostly it's black. Merged, yeah. mm -hmm. It's been merged. Mm -hmm. But those who come from the townships and the rural schools don't have the same education mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. as those who go to the Model C schools. Mm -hmm. You know, and then not let alone those who go to the private, private schools, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? But they're all in the class together. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. so most of my students, English is their second or third language. Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. they've never written three pages in English. Mm -hmm. They've never been asked to do it. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. they don't have music programs in the high schools that they come from. Mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. And yet, here they all are together in the same class, mm -hmm. and then it's like, let the best man win. Well, who's going <laughs> to win? <laughs> right, who's going to win? You guys, yeah, so, yeah. The, you who's know, gonna... if, if, if they're, and so the people, mm -hmm. if the people who are administering education don't care about that, mm -hmm. then how is it going to be rectified? Mm -hmm. So even though I'm not South African, I feel like I am providing a service because, number one, I am, uh, you know, I'm qualified to do it, mm -hmm. and I see this problem, and I care about it, mm -hmm. see, and so I'm making an effort mm -hmm. to, 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 to bridge some of these problems to the extent that I can. Yeah. There is so much politeness. Oh. The culture of black Africans here yeah. is like, like, I was raised by Southerners. I was born in the South. So, but in America, I have pretty good manners. I know how to say yes, sir, no, ma'am, and all of that, mm -hmm. you know. But by South African standards, my manners and patience is not so hot. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's right. not so good. That's right. You American. Yeah, you, American, the, you two are the, patient. The, the level yeah. of patience yeah. and 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 just <laughs> genuine uh, Ubuntu is the term. Ubuntu, mm -hmm. Ubuntu, mm -hmm. right? Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. I mean, right. a person is a person because of people. Other people. And so, like. You know, it's different <laughs> mm -hmm. here, and it, and it's taken. It takes it, it takes a while for you even to register what's going on around you, because a person can be livid, upset mm -hmm. with you, and you wouldn't even know it, because uh, there's because of the yeah. way that they speak. Mm -hmm. You know, Africans speak very poetically, even though it's not their right. native tongue. They mm -hmm. speak better right. English than we do. Uh, yes, I'm and, um, I was saying. Yeah, no, it's it's true, <laughs> and and so. Sophisticated. They're yeah. very sophisticated right. because their languages are poetic right. and it's oh. indirect, see, mm -hmm. and, they, and they are able to think that way. And so, and, and they conduct themselves that way and they have a lot of dignity. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I like to think I'm dignified, but I, if you step on my foot, I I'm tend to say, I'm going to say something about it. Yeah. But it's also the legacy of, of 
British colonialism. Yeah, that as too. Well. Yeah, that too. Right. Uh-huh. That so too. a lot of the cultural inheritances. I'm so glad I didn't go through colonialism, um, just slavery and Jim Crow. That's right. I was just slavery and Jim Crow. As bad as that was, when I see what happens to the colonial that's mentality, that's tough. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. Well, I'm I mean, glad. and even still, I mean, yeah. we talk amongst ourselves about like, yeah. man, you know, like, you know, I mean, just, just amongst private circles, like, you know, man, I'm acting like a Negro. Like, man, I'm going to go to the front. You know, just in terms right. of that miseducation Negro, that backdoor mentality, even right. amongst ourselves, but even compared to here, like you said, it's just a completely different scenario. Like today, for example, this uh, Indian cab driver got into a little yeah. row with our black cab driver, right? Like he apparently works for, um, you know, a private hotel company. And so the black cab driver who's registered, you know, stays at the airport, his concern was that, you know, you know the Indians. You know, just a not playing by the rules and taking away his business. But B, and I, and I must vouch for him. Um, the, the Indian man confronted him. He was being condescending. You know, yeah. and you know, and he, he was talking down to him. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I've seen a thousand workforces, mm-hmm. it's Zulu workforce mm-hmm. Indian manager. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh. that's how it is. Mm-hmm. I have never ever seen. Mm-hmm. An Indian workforce with a Zulu manager. I see. I've never seen that. Mm-hmm. And the way they talk to them, uh-huh. the way they talk to them is like they are dogs. No. <laughs> see, no. see, people don't talk to African Americans like that. No. See, because we have attitude. They jump up. See, <laughs> no, nobody would talk to us like that. But they, but they do it here. Wow. They do it here, see, and right. so there is great that there have been some great freedom fighters, Indian yeah. brothers and sisters. Right. Right. You know, yeah. that don't even have to be said, but let me say it. Let anyway. me say it anyway, right? Yeah. 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 But yeah. in general, the the communities here between black and Indian is not so nice. Uh-huh. It's not so nice. I mean, and so I, I did notice that, you know, to it's not so nice. But what I'm saying was the, the Zulu driver, as yeah. upset as he was, yeah. right? He was like. You know, you are not my friend. You're not my you know, friend. I am not impressed. Right. You know, I'm not right. impressed. Well, well, yeah. 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 my friend, my friend, let me talk to you. He's yeah. like, you are not my friend. Yeah. You're not my friend. He's like, I am not impressed. You know, say, you know, no one convinced. You yeah. know, and, 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 and then we get in the car, and that's. I mean, again, it was like a 35 minute drive. You talking about my man the whole time. I know. I'm so sorry, you know, that's, you know. So obviously he was upset, he was disturbed. Yeah. You know, and obviously in New York, you know, a little bit of. A little bit of few and all right, you know, yeah. 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 It's not even a physical piece, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah. Not even got me. Yeah, right, right. You know, yeah. But that whole, you know, I am not impressed. Yeah. You know, he still, it was that's, important for him to maintain the dignity. That's the dignity yeah. that they have here. It's so, amazing. But let me ask you, though, yeah. two questions. To what degree is this a potential barrier to. Um, mm-hmm. A, justice, and B, capitalism. I mean, you know, okay. we're talking about business. I mean, cause let me just say something real quick. We went to uh, Val, right, University of Technology. And uh, I will be very clear for those of you listening at home that it was an absolutely phenomenal experience. The people were beautiful. Dr. You know, Jimbo and everybody, you know what I'm saying? But here's the deal. We went in there with our American piece. You know, we saw the agenda. It was like four points. It's like, you know, four people supposed to speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we thought we were going to get in and out, you know what I'm saying, after 90 minutes, 120, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was an all-day situation. And so we're sitting there, and like the clock kept going, because the elders had to speak first, yeah. and then woo 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 and all of us, and woo 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 and woo You know, and it was so much that we went to a church service in the township, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Met Venice Phil speaking, all of a sudden the spirit moved somebody, and ah, uh, and everybody started singing and saying, you know what I mean? I, 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 seriously, I mean, it, I, 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 can't, I can't have it both ways, though. That's, right. that's what I'm trying to ask you. That's what I'm trying to ask you. In terms of business, in terms of business, though, you know, you got to show up a certain amount of time. You know, you got to get the deal done. And so my question is, to, you know, what if degree... you're doing business that way, though. But see, right. but, but that's the way the world is doing business. Not right? necessarily. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Ubuntu. You did... Let me tell you. No, 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 no. Look at it this way. See, so, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, let me say this real quick. Ask a question. Let me finish my question. I don't think y'all already say where I'm coming from. See, we got Ubuntu all day in the, in the townships. But see, my thing is, like, you know, the Ubuntu is not helping, you know, saying their, their material existence. And so my question is, how do we, you know, saying convert this piece? Because, you know, call, call the, 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 the white capitalist model evil, called this, that, and third. But guess what? You know what I'm saying? You know, they got the nice cribs and the ability to vacation and lead the country. So what I'm saying is, you know, to what degree is this piece, um, you know, hindering, Afri- you know, Africans from moving forward? Or 
is there really something that's valuable in it that you know that can be you know seen um you know exploited in a positive constructive way that hasn't been seen before yet? Because so far all I'm saying is that we're known for that collective spirit. Even in the South, you know, South America, oh, you know, they'll sit and talk to you all day and chew the fat. You know, that's an expression they say in North Carolina, where I'm from, right? Where my family's from. But what I'm saying is, but it doesn't count for points in this capitalistic game at the end of the day. And I don't know if, you know, that's, that's my cold heart, to, you know, talking this, that, and the third. Or is it, you know, how do we practically make this piece work? You know what I'm saying? I mean, in terms of how to compete at that level. Because so far what I've seen, Africans are still excluded from the upper rings of commerce. You know, it's still, you know, the, you know, from what we understand, you know, the oppressors simply moved over to the business sector. You know, they still own all the major businesses. You know, I mean, the World Cup came and went, and mostly non-black -Af Africans benefited from, you know, that surplus that came through here. But, you know, so uh, over in Soweto, they got the Orlando Stadium just sitting there, but there's no money falling, trickling through there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, so what I'm saying is I'm trying to figure out to what degree the Ubuntu piece, you know what I'm saying, is going to be a barrier to Africans moving forward. I think they're two different issues, though, because for on the one hand, you're looking at it through Western eyes, like so. Like if you talk to Harvey, right? right. A few years ago, he said that. Um, that so this is the vice provost that funded the research portion of our trip. He said he ha that was an adjustment when he go. It is an adjustment when he goes overseas because they want to do so many rounds of drinking, so many rounds of talking, yeah. and so yeah, many yeah. rounds of eating before and they even drink. get to business. Yeah. Okay. And these are not necessarily black people, yeah. you know. And it was heavy over in China, and they're not hurting any in the money field. Yeah. So I think that's the one side of it is, is how we do business in the Western world. Oh, okay. The other side of it is wealth <laughs> is. Is not it's not distributed equitably, hmm. period. And also, it's like that case of the system not being designed yeah. for them, yeah. right? The system designed to create benefit okay. from yeah. them. They get but they get, it's they it's get, like yeah. all of the structural problems in the U.S. The system can't protect those it was never designed yeah. to protect. Okay. I think. I mean, I mean, cause, and again, understand my frustration, people, because listen, yeah. you, know, I know you, you have to understand my frustration, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I wasn't raised in the ghetto. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But my mom and my father were, you know what I'm saying? You know, my, you know, my grandma, great grandfather, you know, we have, we have a history of poverty. And even though I wasn't raised in the ghetto, I'm still touched by poverty. I've always struggled with money, you know, throughout my whole life. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Right, 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 right. You know, I'm a professor, you know, I'm a professor, you know, but, I'm at, I, but, but I have time. And time is money. I have time yeah. to spend, you know, eat dinner with my family. Yeah. I have time to travel and be in this situation right, right here. Right. I don't have enough yeah. power. So, so I'm compensated in other ways that add value to my yeah. life. I'm enriched in other ways. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, as sometimes, right, and again, I, I have knowledge of self. I know who I am. I have things that have pride. I know a lot yeah. of things. And if I die tomorrow, you know what I'm saying, God, give, you know, I, I'm very thankful for all the things I've seen and saw. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I can't take all these spiritual gifts to the bank. And sometimes, you know, I, I would like to cash in. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, sometimes you have to cash in. I mean, you know, um, you know, for example, yesterday we had the radio station. And the, and the DJ, he was like, you know, oh, man, we just want to grind. We do this just because we care, because we love it. You know, it's all about the spiritual. You know, people on their deathbed don't say, give me my car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and give me my watch. Yeah, yeah. And I understand that. I understand that, right? But what I'm saying is to all my brothers and sisters still suffering in the projects or still suffering in the townships, is it wrong for, you know, people to want to have a fluffy pillow and running water? And, you know, and not, not just, just, you know, the bare minimum, but a nice one. You know what I'm saying? So to, to, to have material wealth and to, and to enjoy it. You know, and that, that's what I'm trying to translate. Different values, though, right? Completely different value systems. I, I, I mean, think, I think, the bottom I, I, line can't always be the most important thing to everyone. Ubuntu trumps possibly the yeah. desire... For material comfort in certain, but doesn't it only trump it? I'm sorry, because it's it's like a coping strategy. It's mm -hmm. like you know there right. are a lot of barriers and challenges. It's yeah. not to say that the person doesn't want the running water, mm -hmm. or doesn't want like their That's child to go to a good school, yeah, or doesn't want a better paying yeah. job. Yeah. Everybody would want that. However, what did he say? He it's almost like he had to let go, or else you you would like go, yeah, crazy. go, go crazy. You have to sort of get something that's gonna make you sane, make you stable, stable yeah. despite all of those challenges around you, despite yeah. the fact that the system is not working for you. Uh -huh. So I think it's 
you know, it may not be quite accurate to say that the people don't want those yeah, things. It, you know, some people are stuck there and they can't even imagine yeah. having those things because their world is so stressed, you know, mm -hmm. and they're so strained for resources. They, it's, it, this is, the Ubuntu is what's getting them through every single day. Mm -hmm. And it's not that every single day they're not still thinking, oh, I want this and I want that to make mm -hmm. my life better. Mm -hmm. But they have to hold on. So it's almost well, like a well, symbiotic... Okay. Type a relationship, yeah. right? You know, and Ubuntu was there before capitalism, right? <laughs> right. Ubuntu was there well, before capitalism, right. and now we, just we don't want to lose that. Right. Right. We don't want to lose that. Are you, mm. are you aware? Have, have you ever been in a, a protest here? When the toy toy, yeah, not yet, not yet. Okay, it's quite an experience. Mm. You know? It seems it's that it's quite an experience, man. It, it's 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 um, it's frightening and beautiful at the same yeah, time. Yeah, frightening and beautiful. Right. You know. <laughs> Uh, South Africans have more protests per capita than any place in the world other than China. Mm. And when they protest here, they have spears, pongos, oh, yeah. clubs. They, they mean business. Mm -hmm. That's why they killed those people in Americana, because they're not playing. Mm -hmm. And every day, mm -hmm. including today, mm -hmm. there are protests in South Africa. So, it, 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 now, it's underreported. No, right. of course. It's underreported, it. but it's happening today. It's going to be happening tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. And so the, the idea that these people are complacent and not fighting is, 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 is not accurate, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. first of all. The, se the second thing I, I would say is um, I don't want to lose Ubuntu. I want to get more of it in my life and in, in my understanding. I, you can throw the baby out with the bathwater.